Hello, my name is Mark Hammerberg. Uh, if you haven't already met me, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm one of the orthopedic surgeons here at Denver Health, and I'm one of the orthopedic surgeons who does uh, a number of our hip and knee replacement surgeries. And what I'd like to do right now is discuss total hip replacement surgery. Let's start with saying why we do it. The reason why we do hip replacement surgery is for hip arthritis. We don't just do hip replacement surgery for everyone with hip arthritis. Rather, we do hip replacement surgery when we've exhausted every other thing we can do that isn't a hip replacement. Why is that? Well, hip replacement is a good surgery, but it's a big surgery, and there are reasons to not do it if we can avoid it. So by the time you're considering a hip replacement surgery, we've considered all sorts of other options. We've considered uh, management with a variety of uh, medications perhaps. Perhaps we've uh, talked about therapy, weight loss, activity modification. But right now, if you're looking at this video, you're probably thinking about having your hip replaced. And that means that you've tried everything else, it's not working, you continue to be severely limited by your hip arthritis pain. Why is that? Basically, your hip is worn out. Okay, so very quickly, to talk about what a hip replacement is, we should have a quick discussion about what the hip is. And uh, in summary, the hip joint is where the thigh bone meets the pelvic bone, or where the leg meets the torso. Basically, let's look at the skeleton. If you follow the spine down all the way towards the tailbone, you'll see that it hits the pelvis. We have a right side of the pelvis, we have a left side of the pelvis, and here we have the left hip joint. Where the pelvic bone meets the thigh bone, that's the hip joint. That's where all the motion between your leg and torso comes. And you can see it's a ball, and I don't know if you can see, but it, it's a ball and socket joint. The top of the femur is a ball, and it meets with a socket in the pelvis, and that's where the motion occurs. So when we replace the hip, what we're doing is we're replacing the worn out cartilage inside the hip. And to do that, we replace the socket and we replace the ball. And this is what it looks like. Compared to our native skeleton here, this is a representation of a left hip replacement. You can see that if we take it apart, obviously this is a model, but if we take it apart, you'll see there's the ball. It's an artificial ball at the top of the uh, hip, what used to be the hip, it's at the top of the femur. We basically cut away the old bone and we insert a stem that becomes one with the femur and on top of that stem we've got a new ball. It's a very smooth ball made of either metal or uh, ceramic and that meets with the plastic on the inside of the new hip socket. The new hip socket you'll see is a couple of parts. On the inside is a piece of plastic we call it polyethylene and that allows for a very smooth articulation. So your hip that was once stiff and painful now moves freely and now you've got improved function, decreased pain, and hopefully a much better life. The way the socket fits into the pelvis is it's either held in place with cement or most frequently we have an ingrowth surface and the bone simply grows into and onto the back surface of this metal it's got porous coating and so the bone microscopically can grow into it and essentially that new artificial cup becomes one with the bone and when that cup mates with the artificial ball on the top of the femur we call that a hip replacement.